gonna kick some rock or kick some rock all night Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Game Bear Studios, and I'm sorry I'm a bit late with this, but I try my best to get on top of it. But I'm here to showcase you the new Resident Evil film, movie trailer thing, the Welcome to Raccoon City trailer 1 and 2. Uh, the reason why it's a bit late, because I only just got the first trailer, and um, yeah, the recording was pretty bad. And I'm not even sure if my audio is recording right now. Uh, we're just going to watch the trailer now and uh, hope you guys enjoy. What are you doing out hitchhiking on a night like this, anyway? Ooh, you right. live here, you said. Raccoon City. <laughs> Better you than me. Watch out! Okay, this didn't happen. So they added something new. Okay, interested. Class was coming by uh um, bike. Why the sign hill sign? Make sense. Honey, we need to go now. Ooh. Lock the gates. Okay. Claire, why are you back here? This whole town's been Rick. poisoned. If we don't contain this, it could threaten the whole world. Shall we go? We've got sort of Resident Evil on. 1 that's 2 in a way. Oh, that's Steam Zombie. What the f? Okay. What were Umbrella doing here? They were experimenting on him. This is my life's work. I'm not giving it to anybody. So, is he playing Birkin? Short haired Birkin. That doesn't make sense. And I got that he's playing. Vickers, this is Cheap Irons! Pick up your camera radio! Oh, Vickers. What? Oh. Umbrella is gonna destroy this place. I just really want to get out of this town. What the fuck is that gonna be? Clear. Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids. They're not true now. We need to expose Umbrella. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. You see, Umbrella, they have an incident. I'm talking Chernobyl, if you know what I mean. No. People are getting sick. Let the world know what's really going on. So, like, basically, COVID. <laughs> we have to continue. Copy, copyright music, but who gives a punch? Shall we go? Nope. What were Umbrella doing here? This is where they're experimenting on him. What? Yeah. We should split up. <laughs> should we really? Wesker's got no sunglasses. Oh, nice blonde hair. Well, he's still got blonde hair, so he's very sure. Why was there a helicopter going into the mansion anyway? That doesn't make sense. What the? They can't make a kill practice just before. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Why? Risk of. Claire would just be a bit confused. We're gonna take Umbrella down. Okay, Chris, 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 Chris. Yeah, 
worst idea, they're blind, so don't run. It off a retarded. Okay, well I wanted to check one thing out. What the Where was it? Yeah, that doesn't work. Because Chris Redfield wasn't in Resident Evil 2. Ugh. Oh well, at least it's better than Paul Scott, W.S. Anderson. Am I angry and sensitive because I'm not allowed to do bad? Really? Come on. I'm stating the truth. His movies, you know, these pieces of crap that I wouldn't even work, you know, wipe my ass with, and yes, I own a copy. Aha! Right, his <laughs> franchise of crap. Yeah. By the way, I didn't pay a fucking penny. Now, <laughs> comedic approach. Now, here's the thing Chris Redfield was not in Resident Evil 2, so this doesn't make sense right here. But, uh, okay. Fair enough. If they want to add Chris Redfield to Resident Evil 2, it makes sense. But uh, at the same time, he, if they were trying to follow the games, um, why is he in it? That's my only down point, point to this is Chris Redfield being in Resident Evil 2. He wasn't in it. Guys, if you were trying to make a Resident Evil film based on the game, uh, do it properly. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because, oh, it's nitpicking <laughs> again. You know, oh, I'm nitpicking about, you know, a simple thing that doesn't follow the games. Well, okay. Let's forget about that. The trailer looks really good. And is there anything better than that crap? Oh, we can't say that. Anything better than Paul W. S. Anderson made? Because his movies were. I'm just going to put the word here because I'm not allowed to say it. Thank you, editor. That's me. <laughs> um, his were. And to be honest, we're not allowed to speak bad about an. It about his movies but and to be honest I didn't like them. this I'm already doubting already but again it's got it's it's hard not to be better than poo uh, again oh my god he's talking shit about another game we have to tell him to stop it YouTube don't be like this. Rest down. The Game Bear Studios is not allowed to talk bad about you, but the video will be taken down. And if Paul W. S. Anderson made a, a good movie like George Romero was gonna do, then maybe we'd have cared. Or made it this. We wouldn't have had to do a reboot. Because his rubbish uh, that I'm also allowed to criticize his work uh, because 2021 we're not allowed to say oh this person is rubbish this person does this we have to be like this guy's good but yeah so far this is the only downside I can see for this film which is a good thing in a way because yes maybe it wasn't foreign in the game to a T because Chris Redfield was not in Resident Evil 2 but hey why not just put him in it you know may, it may piss off classic Resident Evil fans but it may build the character a bit more of Claire Redfield so you know I can see it on both sides but at the same time I'm like why if you want to make something like this, based on a game why change the pro change it um, but let's go on to the lighter side. I love Itchy Tasty. I don't know who that guy is. I, 
Leon looks weird because Leon doesn't have a facial hair, but you know, why not? And this guy, you know, he's cool being in it. Um, I gather he's playing Birkin or somebody, but man, why do they have to choose people that have got less hair than the than the game characters had? I mean, Wesker, my God, they had a really good Albert Wesker in, uh, oh, I don't know. These crappy ones? Sorry, we're not allowed to say crap, but they are. I mean, there's a good Wesker in them. So, you know, why a guy that's technically blonde but doesn't have the hair style and, <coughs> excuse me, sunglasses. And then this guy who I'm gathering is playing William Birkin. No disrespect to this guy. This guy is awesome. He's a great actor. He's in Band of Brothers. You know, he was in Walking Tall with The Rock. He was in Star Trek Nemesis. No, he was not. He was in Star Trek First Contact. Which I could get wrong all the time. But yeah. I mean, he's acted with the best. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Patrick Stewart. I mean, what more could you ask for, for this guy? He's also acted with Mark Wahlberg's brother, Donnie Wahlberg. He's acted with, or oh, under the direction of Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. I mean, you know, this guy's good, but he's just got some hair. And to be honest, I'd love to have more seen him as Nikolai in the Resident Evil Nemesis. That would have made more sense. Um, but at the same time, I can't see this guy being a bad guy, even though technically, yeah, he has been in Walking Tall. But yeah. yeah, he more reminds me of a Nikolai. But could he pull off the Russian accent? I don't know. I'll go check over there. <laughs> But, mm, again, it's questionable. So far by this trailer, I'm happy. I'm not allowed to be negative about it, but at the same time, there's only one little negative. Chris Redfield was not in Resident Evil 2. But at that aside, I'm watching both the trailers now because I haven't seen one of them. I've only seen the one that was classified as the second trailer in this. I didn't see the first trailer. Um, casting choice is a bit mm, meh. It's all right. They got good cast, and this guy, the guy playing Chris Redfield, was good. Claire's a bit off because they did have a really good Claire in oh I don't know, Extinction After Bowl oh, or was it Final Chapter? One of them. They had a really good Claire. Oh, if you can see it, which probably not. If you can't see it, I'll put a picture up somewhere there. Um, so far, I was a trailer. I'm thinking, you know, and I'll give you, you know, no point in me going to do a review on these films. You know, as a Resident Evil fan, as classing them as Resident Evil films, they get a one out of ten, if that. Uh, yeah, because they've done a good job with some of the characters in, I don't know, um, in most of the rest of them after the first one. Um, but that's it. That's all it was. It's just basically an action horror film made by, an, uh, made by a guy who played too much video games, thought, hmm, I can't make pornos, so I'll put my wife in a f film... And we'll just slap Resident Evil on it and throw a load of Resident Evil characters and classics Resident Evil. Yeah, which was a slap to the face with a load of classic Resident Evil fans who were pissed off with it. This, on the other hand, is good for Resident Evil fans. I will highly recommend it to Resident Evil fans to watch it, new and old. But I do see a few little issues. One being Chris Redfield. I'm going to keep repeating this. One being Chris Redfield not being Resident Evil 2, but he is in this. Um, and the character choices are a bit off, but you know they they are going to be good actors. But again, you try and make yourself look like a Resident Evil character. Not many people will look like the original characters, but you know w w they can always try. Uh, my final rating on this trailer, just watching it a few a few times. 
the trailer gets um, a 7 out of 10. I'm not impressed, but again, uh, I'm happy that it's better than there. Um, and I'm happy it follows the games a bit more better. You know, the first Resident Evil movie that came out was crap. It wasn't, sorry. The first Resident Evil movie that came out was, uh, which we're not allowed to say, and, you know, it had a mansion, it had the hive, but that wasn't the original game. This has the mansion, original people, stars team, good, big points. Now, when I see the film, when it comes out, I'm hoping that they're going to do Welcome to Raccoon City 2, Nemesis in it. And then I'll be, you know, without being too bit graphic, but I'm going to have the biggest fanboy Resident Evil hard on you will ever see. You probably won't get to see it on YouTube because it will be censored and not allowed, but uh, I'll be so jizzing in my pants that it'll be so good. And it'll make it better than a pack of lies. <laughs> Apocalypse. Now, yeah. So, am I going to watch this movie when it comes out? you goddamn right I am. Because this is the Resident Evil movie that we wanted. Okay, wrong cast members, but it'll have to do. And will I get it if it released on Blu-ray, DVD? If I had the money? Yes. I know it sounds crap, but anywho, and, you know, hopefully it's going to be better than that Resident Evil Infinite Darkness that came out, which was boring. Oh, I'm not allowed to say anything bad about it, so <laughs> Infinite Darkness was a good f TV series on Netflix that was pretty much... <laughs> Didn't say anything bad, I just fell asleep. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this new trailer? Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the trailer, go check it out. It's all over YouTube. So definitely check them out. It's in the public domain. By the way, I don't own the rights of this trailer. The rights go to the people that made the Welcome to Raccoon City movie. And it also goes out to Capcom. I don't own any of this crap. I just want to share it with you guys. And I need to <laughs> rephrase the crap. <coughs> I don't own any of the content that's provided. That is public domain from Capcom themselves and the people that created Welcome to Raccoon City. Um, disclaimer out of the way, I'm bored. <laughs> what are your guys' thoughts? Comment section below. I'm going to catch you, the Game Bridge Studio fans, in the next one. This missed.